Hello, my name is Joe Beatty. We're uh, four days from Christmas in December 2020, and this is a video we're producing that will introduce you to a Go Virginia project, a grant project that we're uh, doing on the eastern shore of Virginia. This project is based on uh, advanced technologies involving drones. There'll be surface uh, water drones, there are um, aerial drones, and there are also what we call crawler drones. These are uh, units that can crawl along the bottom uh, surface and have inertial navigation to guide them. But the project is really about people and improving the economics uh, for the people on the shore, especially the young people. We started right from the beginning with workforce development. I'd like to introduce our team now. It'll be Jocelyn Harold, uh, DJ David Jesse McCaleb, Lucas Antunas, and this is an international team. In Perth, Australia, we'll have Marcelino Rodriguez and his wife Ileana Rodriguez. In the first 300 years of the Eastern Shore of Virginia, it was actually a very international community. In the days of sail, it was very common for people to leave here and travel literally all over the world on the different uh, vessels. The economy in the early 1900s was uh, based on agriculture and aquaculture and these were probably the two richest counties in the United States. Now, however, we still have those same industries, but these are the two poorest counties in Virginia. The prior economies were based on agriculture and aquaculture. Those still exist, but they're not adequate to provide uh, a large number of well-paying jobs so that young folks can stay here and raise their families. We've taken that a step further from that observation and Jocelyn Harold has done substantial work on actually surveying young people. In order to collect this information, I have created a survey. And this survey went out to many, many young people here on the shore and it's still getting spread around a bit, um, but it contains a lot of important questions about what it would take to keep kids here on the shore. Uh, meaning, what kind of income do they hope to have, what kind of job, um, and uh, what size family they'd like to have. The most important question we found was, what is your biggest concern with staying here on the eastern shore of Virginia? There were many, many interesting responses, uh, many of which pertain to the same three or four issues. A few years ago, I retired from a global construction company where we built very large uh, infrastructure projects. And we, all of these projects, uh, or most of them, were very involved with the nearshore environment. That is, we had liquid natural gas projects, we had uh, delivery of coal to terminals on the shore for, uh, from mines deep in the interior, we had uh, nuclear plants that relied on water cooling, so they were built right on the coast. All of these involved uh, a very complex interplay and interface of the uh, water environment and its different datums, and the land environment and its multiple datums. Our home here on the eastern shore of Virginia is surrounded by two massive bodies of water, the Atlantic Ocean and the Chesapeake Bay. And this makes our home very vulnerable to change. It's almost impossible to keep up-to-date bathymetric data on the channels here. Our project is focused on rapid, cost-effective data solutions. And one of our visions is to introduce an advanced technology industry on the eastern shore of Virginia. In order to provide this data, we're using drones. Drones provide this service at a much lower cost and bring high-tech jobs to the eastern shore of Virginia. We currently are using an aerial drone and a hydro drone. The hydro drone is being lent to us by ODU, however it's undergone heavy modification while it's here. Using CAD, we designed an antenna mount which NCST generously printed on their commercial HP 
powder bed 3D printer. There's also a GPS mount made by our local community college. Using this hydrodrome, we've developed our own autonomous system. This autonomous system is made out of RC boat and commercial off-the-shelf parts. We plan on using this system on our own hydrodrome that we are currently developing. We can control this autonomous unit using our computer and a mission planning software. The aerial drone is used to scout missions for this hydrodrome, however it's also used in many other applications. Similarly, the hydrodrone will also be used in many other applications other than bathymetric mapping. One of my jobs here has been to collect a series of historical maps. Um, I have a pretty cool one of Cape Charles. And then my main focus has been on this patchwork map. And that is the most accurate and detailed bath bathymetric data that we have of both the Chesapeake and the Atlantic side of the peninsula. We have detected a number of locations and we know there are many more out there. Using our autonomous capability, we can collect and process bathymetric data and generate maps of the near shore shallow water. Eventually, we would like to be able to take core samples that show us just the top six inches of our channel bottoms here. That information would be very valuable to our aqua farmers here in the area. This capability, along with our array of sensors, will allow us to track water temperature, flow, and salinity opening a wide range of commercial capabilities. Environmental scientists, aquaculture farmers, marine engineers, and more could take advantage of this data. All of these, this information that we're gathering is going to end up in our database. This contains all of our historical maps and information, as well as any information we are able to, to get using our hydro drone. We're currently developing manuals and procedures to train others in the operations of these drones. Our goal is to involve local schools and build a platform where students can learn hands-on practical applications of their classroom education, involving engineering, electronics, geology, biology, history, and mathematics. Since we are awarded the grant, we assembled a team, started a database of historical bathymetry, created a lab, where we develop an autonomous system using off-the-shelf parts. We communicate with international geospatial and hydrographic corporations. We design manuals for standard work process and procedure. We compile training programs to involve local schools. And we are now moving towards building our own drone and commercializing our service.